بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Brothers and sisters, subhanallah There's a beautiful verse in the Quran that Every time I'm going through a musibah A difficulty, a hardship And I recite this verse to myself Wallahi, it console my heart Wallahi, it comfort me This verse, Allahu Akbar Allah Azza wa Jal says in Surah Al-Baqarah Verse 216 is a formula If you live your life with it Every, no matter what happens in your life, recite this verse to yourself and you will see how you feel. Allah says, وَعَسَىٰ أَن تَكَرَهُ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَعَسَىٰ أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Allah Azza wa Jal said that it may be, it may be you dislike a thing, you dislike something in your life, maybe a sickness, you have, you've been diagnosed with a sickness, you just got fired, you know, you can't, a woman, She's not able to get pregnant. You're not able to get married. You're not able to get a job. It may be you dislike something. Allah says, وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ Allahu Akbar. For that is good for you. Subhanallah. Because Allah Azza wa Jal knows the outcome. Allah is telling you that it may be you dislike something. Allah has decreed something in your life. You don't like it. وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ And then the opposite is true. Allah says, وَأَسَ أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ It may be you love something. You like, you like this particular job. You like to marry this particular person. You like this particular situation. You want this house. You love this thing. وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ Allah says, but that is bad for you. That is bad for you. It may be if Allah give it to you, it will be a destruction in your life. Wallahu ya alamu wa antum la talamun. It is Allah that knows. You and I, we don't know. Allah knows the outcome of every single thing. When you make dua to Allah, you're crying. You say, oh Allah, give me this. And when Allah don't give it to you, Allah knows that this, is, this might not be good for you. So Allah will keep it away from you. Subhanallah. This verse is a beautiful ayah. If you live your life with this verse, you will always remain positive. You always think good of Allah Azza wa Jal. Because if, if, you go, if you go through musibah, you need something to comfort you to console you this kind of verse when you are tested when you're diagnosed with a sickness yes you may not like it but Allah said huh it may be you dislike something there's good in it it's good for you and the opposite is true you may want to marry a certain person you love this person she's so beautiful she's her character is good you want to marry her but Allah, Allah said it may be you love something but that's bad for you you don't know the future. You don't know the outcome. Trust in Allah. You may with this particular job, but Allah doesn't give it to you. Trust in Allah Azza wa Jal. Wallahu ya'lamu. Allah knows. Wa antum la ta'lamun. You and I, we don't know nothing. All we see is what's, what's in front of us. But Allah knows the future. He knows every single thing. So Allah knows the outcome. We need to trust in Allah. Trust in what Allah has decreed in your life and you'll be good. This verse is in Surah Al-Baqarah 216. Wallah, it's a beautiful ayah. It's a beautiful ayah. If we live our life with this verse, inshallah, we will never be sad. We'll never Never be depressed. We'll always be hopeful in Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.